What is up? Okay, so today I woke up early. I, so, uh, yesterday I fell asleep like around four because of work. Left 12, got home, eight, four in the morning, went to bed. Then I got up at nine, no, 8.50, 10 minutes before church. I make it a church like a couple minutes late. And then I get invited to another church. And this is where I want to talk to you guys about fighting. Because today I fought a lot of what my old self would have ran away from. But I'm not running away anymore. This other church, I was supposed to get baptized, but I backed out. And I kind of felt like a coward, like... Like, it's terrible for not doing it. And then whenever I'm there, I feel kind of anxious. But I was like, I got invited. I'm going to go anyways. I already went to church. I'm going to go anyway. So right after that church, the first one, I went to the other one for the first half. Because I, I just had to go somewhere else. And throughout that first half, I was just fighting. Like, oh, man, like, why am I here? Like, why did they come? But then as I sat down and I experienced it, I was like, wait, 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 it's not that bad. It's not that bad. And I saw a few people and I said hi to them because you only live once. Might as well say hi. You don't know when's the next time you're going to see that person. So I walk up to him. I'm like, hey, what's up, man? Like, how you been? He's like, whoa, like, dude, it's been like a long time. And we just caught up a little bit. And then from there, I went home. But once I went into my car, I was like, I, I did that. Like, I just won my first fight of the day. I, I could have just gone home and knocked out and been more comfortable, but I didn't. And then I went home. And <laughs> talking about knocking out. I knocked out for an hour. Then I went to a performance a bangari performance and i'm just like okay i got at least one hour of sleep I feel a little better so i'm gonna drive drove over there just listen to music and then i arrived at the palace of fine arts and once i arrived at the actual entrance pay for the ticket I enter and it took a while for the performance to come out and this is where this is something I'm experiencing something new and I just wanted to do it on my day off I got invited so I was like let me come in and watch but my second fight was coming to a new studio and kind of just taken a lesson from um, from a teacher and I was like okay okay this is new it's kind of scary like, you don't have to, you don't have to go but then I'm like dude fight fight you're killing your old self fight and I fought and after the dancing is I was laughing dancing having a good time it was a really good time. I, I generally had like, I was, I was like generally smiling the whole time because I was learning from other people. And I was just able to see so many people who are also dancing. It was, it was beautiful. It was like really heartwarming. It was, it was nice. But after that, after I left, and I'm like, wait, I did that. I did that. I, I did something I didn't want to do. And it felt good. And I felt like a better version of myself. I can definitely say I'm a better version of myself than who I was yesterday. And I think that's the goal every day. Like for everyone. Is to become a better version of themselves every single day. And I'm like, it's the time. Bangari time. And then I go... And see if I can catch some bangari before it ends. And 
I do, I catch a little bit. And I'm like, whoa, this is what Bangri is. This is nice, this is different. This is a whole different culture. I would have never seen myself voluntarily going unless someone invited me out to go see it. And honestly, there's this 1v1 that, that had me like hype stoked because it kind of reminded me of dancing. And I, I, oh, my passion for dancing has increased so much. It's like, it's making me feel so much more creative than how I used to be before I almost like died in that car accident. Like five, I want to say five months now. And it's just a blessing to be, to be able to fight through the pain of not being comfortable and afterwards being really proud of myself for it. So... I want to leave that with you. If you ever find yourself uncomfortable with something you're doing, but at the end of the day, you want to do it, then do it regardless of how you feel. At the end of the day, when you get it done and you might not like it throughout the way and you might not like it at all, but when you're done, you'll be like, hey, I did it because I wanted to. And that is an accomplishment. And you should be proud of yourself for that. And I, I think I'm definitely proud of myself. And I want to keep doing that. So leave it at that. Love y'all. Love you. Peace.